it's May 8th, 2019, and this video is called Mutant Conjoined Flowers Gerbera Daisy. Now, this is the most bizarre one I've seen ever. That's why I want to do this uh, video. Now, this is a regular one right here. But if you noticed, the other three are like totally mutated. This one I think has three or four flowers in it. This one's got three flowers and this one's got two flowers. Now Gerbera daisies, it seems like they always had these mutations where they're conjoined. I've been coming across them like randomly over the past couple years. But I'll tell you what, I mean, everybody's gonna be like, oh yeah, you blame everything on Fukushima. But like if you go to the store and there's at least maybe a dozen or two of these, you're going to find one of these mutations. So I don't know what's going on is if they bred it so much that it's not a stable um, variety, or I don't know what the species is. Uh, so that's all I got to say about that. But this is bizarro right here. I mean, look at... Uh, Look at this. There's, let me see here. There's uh, two stems on there. So this is two of them. Let me take this off so I can look a little bit closer. Now, what I find interesting in this variety is you could go online there's the Atomic Energy Agency there is a database that they have induced a lot of the food that we eat has been induced through gamma radiation to induce mutations because they say it'll give them the characteristic traits that they're looking for and I know that there's a red Gerbera daisy that they did mutate. Look at this. Conjoined stems. This is the one that's totally separate. Now this one, I think, has got four stems in it. Maybe we can get underneath it. Look at that. It's like a Siamese twin. Actually... Right there, it's... Mutated like crazy. Oh, look at that. This one. If I could feel how many. Okay, I'm feeling this and it's got three stems. Actually, four. There's one on this back side over here. And you can see there's three right there. This is the most bizarre one. This is crashing chromosomes, misguided mitosis, genetic blasphemy. And actually there is a tag on this one so it does not say what variety it just says Gerbera yeah so there you go this is one of the most bizarre of the Gerbera daisies
Now, if you pull this thing apart, look at that thing. Four stems on this one. Is that thing hurting or what? And the problem with plants is that they're stationary. Like the old saying goes, you could run, but you can't hide. Well, these things can't even run because they're stuck. Except if it's a greenhouse plant. Now, what I'm wondering is if the pollen is bad. Because it's just like genetics. I guess you can you pass these traits on? And if you can, maybe that's why there's more of them. But then again, they're growing a lot of stuff from tissue culture, so... It's just not like the old way of propagation anymore. This is so bizarre. I guess, is this the future? You know, if we don't watch it, this is what everything's gonna end up turning into. Hey, look what else I found on this when I was trying to trim up the leaves to get a better shot on the flowers. Look at that. There's conjoined leaves. This is a normal leaf. It's supposed to have a mid-rib. That's why it goes right down the center. So you actually have two types of mutations. You have leaf mutations, and of course the flower mutations. Now this, for a final count, has got four stems. This one has two. two. Now this one could possibly have five, which makes sense. Because there's one, two, three, four. It's just so combobulated. Those two were supposed to be combined, but it fanned out, split, conjoined. Maybe it's misguided meiosis, also with misguided mitosis. But it definitely is crashing chromosomes, and it definitely belongs in the mutant garden.
crashing chromosomes. Misguided mitosis. Genetic blasphemy. But a lot of mutations are caused by our environment, and those are what are called induced mutations. We could also have radiation or chemicals that are causing the DNA to break apart. The radioactive substances rose five kilometers into the air and it was carried by the jet streams to the U.S. and Europe. In North America had received quite a large fallout, and, but it didn't stop coming out. When you look at the models, you, you got to appreciate it didn't stop coming out. It's still coming out. It's still hemorrhaging either into the ocean and also up into the environment. And because you only need such a tiny amount such a tiny amount of something that's not supposed to be on the planet that has no right to exist that exists through deception and misrepresentation Before Fukushima, 100 becquerels a kilogram is stored on a nuclear waste site forever. After, they want you to eat it. After, they want you to eat it. They want you to eat it. Watch how, see Japan, look at, don't take your eyes off Japan, keep looking at Japan, look at that spot up there where it's emanating from, look at it, keep looking at it, this is day after day after day after day after day, it's still doing it day after day after day, look at that spot in Japan before it disappears, it's still emanating from there, it's still hemorrhaging from there, it's still coming out of there, that never ever changed.